Maria Ana Consuelo Abad Santos Madrigal Valade, born Maria Ana Consuelo Abad Santos Madrigal April 26, 1958, better known as Jambi Madrigal, is a Filipino politician and businesswoman. She was elected as a senator in the 2004 elections. After only one term, she ran for the presidency in the 2010 elections and lost. Early life and career Jambi Madrigal was born in Manila, Philippines on April 26, 1958 to Antonio Madrigal 1918 and Amanda Tiapaco Abad Santos. She is the granddaughter of the former Supreme Court Chief Justice Jose Abad Santos of San Fernando, Pampanga. Her grand-uncle, pre-Commonwealth Assemblyman Pedro Abad Santos, founded the Socialist Party of the Philippines. Her paternal grandfather was billionaire businessman and Senator Vicente López Madrigal of Ligao, Albay. Her aunt, Pasita Madrigal Warns, was a senator during the Quezon and Magsaysay administrations and was the first administrator of the Social Welfare Administration, the predecessor of today's Department of Social Welfare and Development DSWD. Her late uncle and aunt were former Acting Minister of Foreign Affairs Manuel Calantz and Aris Consuelo, Chito, Madrigal. In addition to her work for her numerous foundations, in 2003 she has become spokesperson for the Youth Based Contra Politica Movement, KPM, which champions education, protection of the environment, and economic empowerment through livelihood programs. She has acted in a movie on the life of Luis Tarek, the Kapampangan founder of the Who. Hupo ng Bayan Laban sa Mga Hapon, Hupalahap. Ka Luis was the protege of her grandfather and great uncle, the Abad Santos brothers. In the film, Anik Paz, she portrays her grandmother, Amanda Tiapaco. Madrigal obtained a bachelor's degree in economics from the Santa Clara University and a master's in development economics from Yale University, both in the United States. Political career In October 1999, President Joseph Estrada created the Office of the Presidential Advisor for Children's Affairs and Jambi to head this office. She organized the first national summit for children in Malacañang Palace on October 26, 2001 where government agencies, local government units, industry leaders and non-government organizations signed a declaration of commitment upholding Child 21 a framework on which to anchor all action plans and strategies relating to children. She traveled nationwide coordinating the agency's feeding and educational programs. She became concerned over the fate of teachers and school children who were taken hostage by the Abu Sayyaf terrorists in 2001. After consultation with the victims themselves, she sought the help of clinical psychologists from Ateneo de Manila University and Ateneo de Zamboanga University. Madrigal was elected to the Senate in 2004 and was chairman of four Senate committees, Environment, Youth, Women and Family Relations, Peace, Unification and Reconciliation, and Cultural Communities. In an opposition protest, Madrigal was one of the political leaders who were subjected to the Manila police water cannons while attending a religious procession on October 14. 15, 2005, Madrigal declared her candidacy for president in the 2010 presidential elections. During the race, Madrigal launched many allegations of corruption against fellow Senator Manny Villar, who was also running. Over the course of the campaign, Madrigal brought out 700 pages of evidence to prove that Villar had realigned C5, a main Metro Manila thoroughfare, to pass by Villar's real estate developments so that Villar would be paid for right of way. Personal life She married Frenchman Eric Jean Claude Dudouanian Valade on December 7, 2002, at the Calatagan, Batangas farm estate of her aunt, Doña Consuelo Chito Madrigal Calance. In May 2008, Jambi Madrigal formally filed court pleadings to contest the validity of the last will and testament of her late aunt Chito Madrigal Calance. References External links Jambi's official website Jambi's Senate bio 
Jambi's eyesight profile. Will you vote for Jambi Madrigal for President? 2010 Philippines election poll Presidential candidate runs amok in Tanay.